Welcome to Liverpool and the International Festival of Business. Now, one of the highlights of this six-week event is the BT Global City Leaders Summit. It's uh, an opportunity for leaders from around the world to get together and talk about some of the big issues facing cities today. Well, the whole event is starting here in Liverpool in the Albert Dock. Let's find out what's on the agenda. I want to encourage government to think a bit differently about cities to trust them more, to let power go to them, and to support them more. Because I think if we're going to have a really successful national economy, we're going to have more cylinders on our national engine. And private sectors can get success. Business can work where there is too much poverty, where there is too much misery. So it's very important that business be considered as a, as a part one of the best things about bringing leaders of cities from all over the world together is the networking, is learning from each other. And the best thing that, that I get is, is partially from the presentations, but is as much talking to other mayors and leaders in the hallways. Business has an important role to play in society. The last five years have been difficult for many people. There's a lot of criticism, concern, and misunderstanding of what business stands for. And business is part of society, it's good for society. It's also critically important that we understand that the way we can make things move is with business, cooperating with cities. Things done at the local level get done better. So I just want to pick up some ideas, communicate with people and learn from it, you know, and that's, uh, that's what it's about. It's great that we showcase Liverpool, of course, that's what uh, is going to benefit Liverpool, but it's also about showcasing the North West as well. BT is right at the heart of things and one of the big events of this whole six-week festival is the BT Global City Leaders Summit, which is taking place right here in St George's Hall. It's a gathering of city leaders, mayors from across the UK and around the world. What are they here to talk about? Let's go and find out. Oh, I'm very impressed. Uh, it seems to be going very, very well. Um, delegates seem to be getting an awful lot out of it, and there's a real buzz in the city. I spent 18 months showing that things could work, finding local problems, very small examples, sorting them so that you could point and say, look, it can be done, now build. And uh, over a long period of time, it has been transformation. We have recreated something of what made this city in the first place. Increasingly, um, mayors are seen as the real catalysts for change, uh, and they're very, very accountable, uh, and we feel as though we can help. It's incredibly important, and we're so glad that a, uh, an international company of the calibre of BT is associated with it, because it's sending a message to places right around the world that we increasingly work with each other, uh, cities policy and growth policy are two sides of the same coin. Technology is at the core of how this is transforming the businesses, uh, the countries, the life of, uh, of people and uh, we need to understand how we can contribute uh, to that. Right? To some extent is what we say, right? that we use the power of communications to make a better world. So it's critical for entrepreneurship, for economic development, and also for um, the right to inclusion in the society of information. So I think um, in a world where knowledge-intensive businesses matter more and more, actually being connected matters more and more, it, it's increasingly important. And when businesses um, and cities are thinking about the infrastructure of a city, this isn't just transport, it's not just waste and water, this is broadband as well. Culture and cultural economy at the end of the day are about individuals. Without individuals' creativities, you won't have culture, you won't have the cultural economy. And with the hard work behind them, it's time for the delegates to sample some of Liverpool's legendary culture and reflect on the many new ideas they'll be taking back to their home cities. I was expecting a tired city and uh, it's not it at all. In fact, it is an excellent, beautiful, clean, lovely place and I have been uh, amazed by uh, the magnificent uh, uh, architecture that you have. Certainly I think there's been some outstanding discussion today about issues that are important to uh, cities all across uh, the planet. I would like to congratulate Betty because uh, they believe in corporate citizen and uh, I just hope that in uh, other parts of the world and even, uh, even here in uh, England uh, uh, as well, more companies embark on the same process. Thank you.